I'm sure they don't care to hear your favorite music selection or your favorite radio station. Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Yep, this is me, Sun's Makeup. I didn't realize that this episode would take so long and I forgot to make the introduction to this episode, part two, uh, last week. And I can't be bothered to put makeup, yeah. So this is me without makeup, with my matutas. So, welcome to part two of If You Are A Guest From Hell. I hope you enjoy and um, yeah, I will not even have an ending for this video, please. It's just gonna end like that. And guess what, there's gonna be a part three. I will do my best to put makeup for part three. But yeah, enjoy. For all who have subscribed, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. If you have not subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? Hit that subscribe button right now, please. Yes, yes, that button, yeah, hit it, okay? Thank you. <laughs> number of people that will be accompanying you to the Airbnb. Be very clear to specify how many adults, including yourself, will be accompanying you, how many children, how many infants. Do not stay to one guest when you know that there are other people who will be coming with you to the Airbnb. We've realized that a lot of guests do this in order to avoid paying those extra guest fees that sometimes hosts will put in place. Don't do that. The host will recognize what you're trying to do and call you out on it and will actually give you even a bad rating if it's too late to edit it. So just don't do that. Also, being honest about the number of people that will be coming with you will help the host know, for example, how many tiles to set out or how to lay out amenities that are dependent on the number of people that will be coming. This is also a good time to mention not to bring surprise or extra guests during your check-in. We've had two guests do that. This is a huge no-no. You know what we did? We simply marked them down. Number four, be clear about your check-in time and stick to that check-in time, especially if you're going to be in a property where a host or someone else will be checking you in physically. Please do not state that you are arriving at 5 p.m. Say, for example, if you intend to arrive at 7 p.m. If you see yourself running late, be cautious enough to let the host know, hey, I'm running late, I'm gonna be there at 7 p.m. instead of 5. Hosts are busy and have things to do. So you letting them know that you are running late will probably give them time to maybe run an errand, get something else done, perhaps get something to eat. Also, if you are flying into the country, once you've landed, and you've picked up your bags send the host a quick SMS to say hey I've just landed picked up my bags I'm now on my way to you your host will rate you highly for prompt and clear communication if you decide to be late okay and the host decides hey you know what I need to run an errand if you arrive before the host do not blame the host if you have to wait for the host for about an hour because you could not be bothered to get in touch with the host Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, if they wanted construction and they needed help, they needed ideas, can, do you everything, have that? Everything. So someone can I do come to you and then you literally... I do consultants. All right. So I'm going to put Chibera's details in the description box. So if you are liking what you see so far and you think you can do this and you need some help, Chibera is the need to get in touch with. Wow. All right. Let's I'm keep so excited. Let's okay. keep going around. So. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Gosh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> we shall come back. So this is my bookshelf. Oh. And again, this is a, a recycle. This mm -hmm. was just wood that I had. Mm -hmm. This was in the pig's house and that's eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. So I just went and I chopped that. Mm -hmm. I chopped that. Mm -hmm. I made this as well. What? This bookshelf. Yeah. Okay, you are like so handy because <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You made this on yeah, your made, own. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not to, you know, just get them bowed. Yeah. And then this I added on top. I thought, you know what? <sighs> mm -hmm. Get this chopped, get mm -hmm. this chopped. Mm -hmm. Put this on top. Mm -hmm. And there, there's my I shelf. Love it. 
I you absolutely know. love it. And I love how the light just seeps through and lights up the whole place. Even like today is such a cloudy day and there's so much light in here. There is. So on days when it's um, very, very sunny, mm -hmm. I mean, it's filled with light really. Mm. So of course you can wire electricity in such a home, yeah, piping, like water, oh, everything. all that stuff. Oh, like, you, you know? can have everything that you have mm. in your in the other mainstream houses. So mm -hmm. This is my my bedroom. Okay. Do we um, need to take our slippers off? No, okay. you're fine. Come on in. Um, and again, I kept it very simple. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to experiment with different colors. Yeah. I was gonna ask you actually about the benefits of such a home because I heard or re I think I read somewhere that especially for people with allergies such a home is actually beneficial compared to the ones we're living in I don't know but I mean what are the benefits <laughs> it is much healthier because we're talking about earth mm -hmm. you do not have as many um what do you call them like toxins yes yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. so th this is a lot more healthier mm -hmm. um and, and just all the materials that i've used it's natural mm -hmm. everything is natural mm -hmm. so it, it is going to be more healthier but mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. when it's hot outside it's mm -hmm. cool inside mm -hmm. when it's hot uh when it's cold outside it's warmer inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so it's like natural insulation yes and absolutely whatever the other word is <laughs> <laughs> the other word i'm looking for <laughs> you know <laughs> i love it i love it so you know this this I, and i feel totally safe i mean yeah. this is wiring mm -hmm. and that outside there's some kind of net mm -hmm. netting yeah to keep the mosquitoes and yeah to keep and the that. mosquitoes mm -hmm. and the insects and all that stuff out mm -hmm. yeah you can see all the wood that i used mm -hmm. the the whatever the main branches mm -hmm. does it get dusty quick does it like it, you have to it, do a lot of... i have to keep dusting it okay so that's one disadvantage mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to keep dusting it, okay. and that is okay. And if like you the notice, walls and stuff? Mm, or you mean just the ground, really? Oh, the the, the ground okay. a lot of times. Okay. But, but that's a very good question. But I don't get colds, mm. if if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, this came, this we call it Ediambo, mm -hmm. and and it's it's sort of like matting, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you find those reeds mm -hmm. along the riverside, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they make mats out of them. Mm -hmm. So these ones what came. What do we call them? Pad. Yeah. Para. Mm -hmm. We used to sleep on these when we were kids mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. before my folks could afford beds. Mm. So um, so this came from Western because I was going to need so many of them. Mm -hmm. um, and they are too expensive in, in Nairobi. In Nairobi, you know, it's, yeah, like, it's, hey, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's like, really? We're from home. <laughs> like, why are you upping the price in Nairobi? So, oh, wow. So this is like a bathroom? This, my darling, uh -huh. this was going to be a bathroom, ah, but it's... <laughs> It is. Walk in closet. It is. <laughs> that was going to be the bathroom. I was going to make, you know, en suite with yes. here. Yeah. But I haven't gotten around to it because I keep thinking, oh, you know. That's why if it's a I, group of people I who are the same. I love the dark color. You do, huh? Yeah. So you see what I mean? Because I splashed some yellowy white on that. Mm -hmm. But you have to keep doing it quite a bit before it actually catches and before you can actually paint mm -hmm, mm -hmm. onto it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, everything is 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 just how can I put it? What as off? inexpensive as you want. Yeah. Really. I it's mean and you. Oh, and you know I was gonna ask about mm. the foundation. So you don't really need to But I didn't dig down. You don't need to dig down, right? No. I just so dug down in, in the living room mm -hmm. so you step down mm -hmm. into it mm -hmm. and in the veranda mm -hmm. but the rest of this you don't mm -hmm. need to no yeah. <laughs> that's so cool that's so cool okay so we come this way this is um these are my door handles mm -hmm. made out my of cooks. <laughs> This window is. Can you imagine? I love this. Do you know I just love this? Bless you. So now, because I'm seeing like you can get, you simply just get fresh air from. Oh, from, there's a lot of air circulating. Yeah. 
it, it just circulates. It just circulates. So yeah. you really don't even need to have a window mm -mm. that opens. That's why, closes. yeah, that's why, you know, these that's ones. Perfect. And I've also kept these ones closed because mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to come out from that side. Mm -hmm. So apart from the bathroom, mm -hmm. all the, this bedroom and the other bedroom, mm -hmm. the windows are closed, mm -hmm. but the air circulates mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally. And I've debated, should I paint it? Mm -hmm. Should I not? Mm -hmm. Should I leave one room natural? Should I, you know? Yeah. I know, but it's like love natural place now. to hang the net. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. Oh my goodness! And this this <laughs> is a different. Here now, you put. It's a different sort of. Um, it's not walk-in closet basically, but you can put your stuff here. Yeah. Uh, storage more, basically. Store storage. Yeah. It's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah, and then just keeping it simple. Yeah. You know, because when you think about it, huh, mm -hmm. we use. We spend so much material, mm -hmm. so much money. Mm -hmm. just, just, this is so simple. Mm -hmm. um, just put a curtain across that, not even cutting a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this, all this is recycled wood. Mm -hmm. And, and I've, I've left it quite rustic. Mm -hmm. So if you're a person who loves to dot their eyes and cross your teeth, this ain't for ya. <laughs> it ain't for ya, you know, it's like... But I mean, even if, if someone wanted to, you know, do something a little bit more, I don't know, they can still they build can still. and do what Absolutely, they, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So it is so flexible it's depending so flexible. on your pocket and yes. what you want yeah. and how creative you want to be or not. Yeah. Because if you look at this, this is plywood, Yeah. you know. Um, and it works. And, and then I works. just took paint and yeah. I varnished it and then I took paint and shh. Yeah. So let me ask you, how often do you have to do like repairs? Right now we're getting ready to do some repair work next week. A lot of it is outside. Okay. Um, do you have to do it often? Um, not that, not that often, mm -hmm. not that often because mm -hmm. this is the first proper repair job that we'll be doing mm. in the two, two mm. and a half years that I've been here inside it. So it's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. um, the outside gets a lot more beaten by the weather mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the rain. Mm -hmm. So it comes against the nini, mm -hmm. against the, the walls. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do, and I'll show you when we get outside, is mm -hmm. we'll use cement with mm -hmm. soil because you can also do that. Yeah, and then put in the lower bits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see around some more. Let's go. <laughs> Number five, check your noise level. Unless the owner has specifically said that the Airbnb is a party home, it's a home where you can have events, your noise levels can be high, please keep your noise levels down. I recently read an article which said that Airbnb has actually gotten rid of or banned party homes in the States. And party homes are basically, um, you know, basically Airbnbs where you invite your friends, you go to an Airbnb and you end up having a party. And the reason why they've banned these um, party homes is one, Corona. Two, they got lots of complaints from people saying that these party homes are just destructive. And three, there was recently a shootout where people got injured. I do suspect that these rules will actually come to Kenya at some point. So just be prepared for that if you're a guest who likes to rent out Airbnbs for parties and also if you're an Airbnb host at the moment. It is extremely rude to have loud laughter, loud conversation, blasting music blasting conversation in an airbnb that has specifically mentioned in their house rules that volume levels need to be kept low just remember that the property has neighbors including the host themselves especially if you will be staying in like a guest wing or something that is attached to the main house be mindful and remember that people do not care to hear you talk or scream i'm sure they don't care to hear your favorite music selection or your favorite radio station there is nothing more annoying than hearing someone's radio in the background go when it comes to coitus Let's just say that some of us are louder than others. Yeah, you know when you're in the moment and it's feeling so good and all sense leaves the window and you forget how loud you're getting. Just remember that there are children probably around and adults who probably don't care to hear our oohs and ahs. Personally, I don't mind hearing too 
mature consenting adults get down but not everybody cares to hear that so we have got to do our best to keep our volumes down okay <laughs> This is so creative though. I mean, like, this is what, um, this is Gunia. This is Gunia. Mm -hmm. This is Gunia. Yeah. Uh, it was actually plain mm -hmm. and I painted it yellow, mm -hmm. this yellow. Mm -hmm. And I did know that this was a yellow I was going to, this was in the other house. Ah. I'd use it. This as like a. <laughs> this, yeah. The, uh, if you saw the other house, it's got a divider that's mm -hmm. made of wood, mm -hmm. you know, more polished mm -hmm. wood and everything. Mm -hmm. And then. I put the screen, this as a, on, on top of the screen mm -hmm. so that you couldn't see in between. Mm -hmm. So when we were renting it out, mm -hmm. um, they didn't want the screen, so I just came and I took it out. This, this, this is just material. I went to Isli. Okay. Uh, these were curtains from the other house because it has very long windows, a lot of light. Yeah. And I thought, so what am I going to do with these? Yeah. So, you know. That's for the other side. This is the bathroom. Is the bathroom. Ah, so now you've put um, cement. So these are, yeah. This is the place that's been cemented. Mm -hmm. Down just you've to got towels. That's right. I know people still even just use the plain, like um, like in chugs. I remember it was just plain mud, yeah? Yeah, yeah. people do. People do. Yeah. But this is nice. I love this. You know, uh, and and these were spare tiles somebody had finished building. So would you like to? I said, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. go on then. Okay. So this is where I've put the uh, simiti, simiti, simiti. Okay. But the rest up is, is... You have your electric shower. Yeah, I have my electric thing. shower, toilet. Yeah. I got what I need. Yeah. I got what I need. Yeah. So you've got how many, how many um, bathrooms? I've only got one. That's okay. why I, I, I say if it's a group that's coming together uh -huh. so that they can use, okay. you know, one. At, at some stage, I'll probably put in, in the main bedroom, I'll put in a toilet and okay. a shower. Yeah. But for now, it's like, you know. Yeah, and I love that renovation can keep going on. Oh, and it's, not, it's, not it's like never a... ending. Oh, look this at This is Neve's little, this is Neve's room. I hope she doesn't mind. Oh, no, she won't mind. <laughs> she certainly won't mind. And come in, come in. Okay. This is her bedroom. I love the carpets. It helps to keep it warm. It warm. does, it does, mm -hmm. it does. Mm -hmm. You look at... These little bling blings, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the windows, some of them cracked. Mm -hmm. When there was a time we had a lot of rain, mm -hmm. about the first year we moved in, mm -hmm. and the ground shifted. Because mm -hmm. the, the water, yeah. the water was just, mm, a lot, right? there was so much. Uh -huh. So when it shifted, it cracked. And that's how you can tell mm -hmm. um, it cracked. And I thought, well, you know, I'm really not going to start removing all this. Mm -hmm. Let me just stick some bling bling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You know what I love about this house? Mm. I feel like there's like a spiritual like connection. I don't know how to describe it, but like, you know how when you're connected to the earth, yeah, to nature, yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of I feel closer nature. to God, kind oh. of, you know? Yeah, it, that's what I, I feel like when I walk around this house. Oh. It's very, yeah, it has been anointed very many times. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this one we were building, this was actually open. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you so closed it I off. Did, I closed it off. This again came from the other house. Uh -huh. um, so I just put it across here. Uh -huh. You can see this is just bits and pieces of wood. Yeah. And then I put plywood back here. Yeah. And I closed it up. And that's to the kitchen, right? And like, that, So that's to the kitchen. Okay. So we've seen like what two? We've, we've seen, seen all the bedrooms. We've seen all the bedrooms. Okay. We've, we've seen the wow, toilet it's, it's shower. It's quite big. I don't. I don't know. How, I don't know that it's that. It wasn't meant to have been big, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but by the end of it, I'm thinking the roof is not meant to have gone that high at all. But I love it. I love that because it feels more airy. It, it is. It right. Is more airy. Come, come down. Come. Okay. Number six. Try to make advance bookings. Same day, last minute bookings are a lot of work for hosts. If you absolutely cannot book in advance, be flexible and understand that the host will probably need more time to clean, 
to remake the beds, to remake the place for you, and that may take time. Also, if you request to book last minute, but you don't complete your booking, let the host know that you've changed your mind and that you're no longer going to stay at their place. As a host, we simply learned our lesson not to start preparing the place until a booking is finalized. I can't tell you how many times people sent a request saying, hey, I'm thinking of staying in your place, and then they don't end up showing, and you've wasted so much time already setting up the place, and then people don't show up. So this is this is the dining area. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. this is recycled wood. Yeah. This used to be belong to the pig house. This was such a good pigs. idea to put the wood around, around isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I just left it rustic. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how it, it. I wouldn't bring little ones in here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, as um, to 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 stay because it's it's a it's an adult place mm -hmm. because of things like this. Mm -hmm. And I took the curtains mm -hmm. and. I just threw them over and then got that fabric mm -hmm. and tied it round. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's all really wood. Mm -hmm. Then you come to this was a bed. Wow, okay. A futon. Yeah, yeah, the pallets, right? At the yeah. bottom of the bed. Yes. Yeah. So what I did was I just came because when I I did it, this was one large space. Mm -hmm. But when I I, I thought, what shall I do in this space? Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, let me put a divider mm -hmm. so that you go behind mm -hmm. into the rooms and into the shower, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, all right, so this space here, how do I divide the dining from the kitchen? Mm -hmm. So I decided, I know what, I've got a bed around. Mm -hmm. So I put this across here to divide it. Okay. Um, and then painted it. So mm -hmm. this side is where mm -hmm. I sit down and do most of my work. Okay. And then you have my kitchen. Oh, and you know what I'm loving here? <laughs> I love it. Do, do you cook with them? Uh, are, are they for decoration? This one, this one I cook with. Okay. This one I cook with. Uh -huh. This one I haven't yet cooked with. Mm -hmm. This one is meant to be for water. My mom is but telling me they don't make them the same way they used to back no, in the don't. day. And the flavor is not the same when you no. cook with food. Let me tell you, the flavors mm. just you wouldn't stop eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so annoying. <laughs> And then again, not many of us even know mm -hmm. or, or even care about things like that anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so again, we're losing it. Mm -hmm. I love traditional foods mm -hmm. because when it's cooked properly, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and and we are losing touch. With, We've lost. Oh, We've we lost have. We've so really much. lost. We've mm -hmm. lost a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but this is meant to be for water. Mm -hmm. Um, but when I go up country, I still, we still drink from, mm -hmm. we call it Tindabu. Mm -hmm. And the water is like drinking from a river. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so that's what I wanted to do with that. Mm -hmm. This I cook in it. Mm -hmm. This one, I've, this is for fish. I mm. haven't yet cooked in it, even though I've eaten fish. How do you know? How do you know the difference between... Because you, the way they're made, mm -hmm. um, this one has got a wider mouth. Mm -hmm. Whereas that one doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, the kitchen is so kitchen. airy. It, <laughs> I love. There's something about you and airy and light I and do. space. I love. I love it. I just love natural light. Yeah. You know. It makes a difference, doesn't mm -hmm, it? Really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so this this is where I keep. When when I moved from the other house into this house, mm -hmm. I sold. I gave away. I I just. I'm a minimalist. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line now, and this is uh, this had this has gone through quite a number of um, being different projects. This actually used to be uh, I used to to keep chickens and I would hatch them, an incubator. So I, I tried to make an incubator. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! What that you that, done? <laughs> that that wasn't going to use power. That didn't work. I mean, it was very different then. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. So I have done um, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. Very nice sun-dried tomatoes mm. in this thing. Wow. Because it had glass all around. Mm -hmm. And then decided, no, that one did enough of that. Then, you know, I used to have a, a fish and chip shop in Gong. Wrong place. <laughs> We're talking about the English fish and chips. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my so God. I was getting people coming saying, I want for 20 bob. And I'm going, you're like, ah, no. <laughs> I don't think so, dear. It's a little bit high, high. <laughs> You know, and it's like, I put in, the only thing I didn't put in was whiskey. <laughs> not, not whiskey, Guinness. So here we are. Mm -hmm. I have done these lovely um, fillets, fillets mm -hmm. of, of, of fish, mm -hmm. and I put them in butter, and you know, na, 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 na. and you're telling me, me, I don't want a full one, I want 20 more, I want oh one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is know, Oh, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been curry shopping centre, maybe. I know. <laughs> would you do it again, though? I would love to taste. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I, I, I would. I, you spices. see, that's, I love cooking. Mm -hmm. I love creative cooking. Mm. Um, and there was a time last year, the last year, yeah, I was having what I call the summer singles. Mm -hmm. And it would be having a meal, mm -hmm. like every other Sunday or one Sunday a month. Mm -hmm. And it will all be traditional food. Mm -hmm. All properly cooked traditional food. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Uh, yeah, completely. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. So now this is what it is after the fish. Yeah. After it being a warmer. Yep. Now it is now for dishes. <laughs> No, it's for dishes. Cleaned it out and everything. So, nice. so I made this as well. This is just, I thought, oh, I need to have My a place goodness. where I can you... put. Yeah, and you know what? These were shelves that we had when we came. I had, we had a container mm -hmm. and it had shelves in it mm -hmm. um, where we packed our stuff. Mm -hmm. So after I sold the container, I got, mm -hmm. got, these were hanging about. You know what? Mm -hmm. This would make a nice sort of place in mm -hmm. the kitchen mm -hmm. so all i had to do was get this this that's it and yeah. just laid on top yeah just that simple so simple so simple no hullabaloo. <laughs> no, no 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 so no, that no. leads to the that, that leads to the outside okay oh yeah and this is where i keep my other this is again just i don't need much mm -hmm. So this is where I keep most of the everyday stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then in here, mm -hmm. one of the things that we came back with from that house, mm -hmm. um, where I keep the other plates and you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Love it. And then you have your, you have your fridges, your right. freezers, yeah. your cooker, your... Wow. And I'm looking, oh, this is such a nice view for when you're washing dishes. It is. I used to have chickens. Now I've... I sort of got tired of them, <laughs> only because it's so time-consuming. I heard, I heard the chicken, very chicken time and then consuming. apparently they're very sensitive to, um, if one gets sick, they all get sick. Yep. Something like that. And the attention is more than, <laughs> than, than I could give them, because mm. they're, they're worse than a baby, having a baby around. You couldn't leave. <laughs> I'm telling you, you couldn't just leave and, and travel. <laughs> and a time came when I thought, I am thinking about chickens when I wake up. I think about chickens when I go to bed. I think about chickens all the time. I can't afford, I just don't have the energy anymore. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I've been doing it all mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. um, my mom is still doing it, but mm -hmm. not, not when I'm on my own. Mm -hmm. I just, and then there's a budget. Mm -hmm. Every end of month, I've mm -hmm. got to think about chicken food. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, that money I could use it to <laughs> So, you know, I've had a good go at it mm -hmm. um, and it's been good fun. Mm -hmm. um, but let me not talk because who knows? You may do it again. I might <laughs> do it again. This is it.